Okay, let's jump into that then. This idea of engram cells, what are they exactly? Well, Dr. Ortega de San Luis describes them as uh, groups of brain cells. Mm -hmm. And when you have a specific experience, these cells get activated and they actually change themselves somehow to incorporate and, you know, hold that information. So it's not like one single neuron is a little recording device for one memory, like the old way of thinking. Not really, no. That was mm -hmm. sort of the earlier idea, like tiny storage units. Mm -hmm. But the picture emerging now is much more networked. A network. Yeah, memories seem spread across communities of these engram cells. And the really important part, it's the connections between them. Those relationships are constantly changing. That seems to be the key. That feels more intuitive somehow. And they actually watched this happen, right? With two different memories? They did. They tracked two separate sets of these engram cells, each linked to a different experience. And what happened? Well, this is where it gets cool. When they reactivated one set, let's say the memory for event A, mm -hmm. sometimes the other set, the one for event B, would also light up, show some activity. Whoa. 